the biggest superpowers of the world are now hello and welcome back to your own channel indian defense analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector optimize their fifth generation fighter jet which includes us china and russia turkey and south korea are also in the race to develop their own fifth generation fighter jet it has also been reported that till date china has built more than 250 j20 fighter jets china has been periodically deploying these fighter aircrafts at its forward air bases facing lse to counter chinese latest fighter aircrafts indian air force has 32 rafale as the latest and most modern 4.5th generation fighter jet however china enjoys the numerical superiority and its capability to domestically produce j20 in large numbers therefore india is in desperate need for its own indigenously developed fifth generation fighter aircraft which could be produced in large numbers and also which is economically viable to solve this problem drdo is working on fifth generation fighter jet program amca while this program has been running for years it has finally gained the momentum with the approval of fund for prototype development by cabinet committee of security on 7th march 2024 ad has planned to develop five prototypes of amc for flight testing at an estimated cost of 15000 crore rupees recently the amc development roadmap was reviewed by drdo and indian air force as per the report from ani on 28th august 2024 The prototype of the fighter jet will be ready by the year 2028 if the engine production and other concerned activities move in time. The aircraft will have 6 to 7 years for development and making it combat ready. It will enter into mass production in around 2035. DRDO will select a development production partner which will include a public sector unit which is going to be HL and a private firm. Seven squadrons of AMC have been planned to be inducted, which includes two squadrons of AMC Mark I, powered by GF414 engines, and five squadrons of AMC Mark II to be powered by indigenous engine, which is planned to be developed with foreign collaboration. Now that we have discussed in detail about AMC development progress, let's discuss in detail about the capabilities of India's upcoming fifth-generation fighter jet. Talking about the common features and specifications of AMCA, it will have an overall length of 17.6 meter, wingspan of 11.13 meter. It will have maximum takeoff weight of 25,000 kg and max weapons payload capacity of 6,500 kg. AMCA will have 14 hard points where it can carry the 6,500 kg of weapons payload. In stealth mode. AMCA will carry only in its internal weapons bay having total payload capacity of 1500 kg where it can carry four missiles so in its internal weapons bay it will be able to carry two astra beyond visual range air to missile and two tara missiles AMCA can also carry two saw bombs in place of one tara missile in a different configuration AMCA can carry four astra or eight saw or four precision guided munition such as jdam or tara in its internal weapons bay in non stealth mode the aircraft will carry 6500 kg of weapons including internal weapons bay and external pylons amc's fuel carrying capacity is 6500 kg which is almost more than 2.5 times of lca which has fuel capacity of 2400 kg The max speed of fighter jet is going to be 2600 km per hour or Mach 2.15 with combat range of 1620 km and service ceiling of 20 km. AMCA will incorporate features like serpentine air intake to reduce its infrared signature, internal weapons bay, aligned edges and heavy use of radar absorbing materials to provide it the desired stealth characteristics. The divertless supersonic inlet or DSI with serpentine decks will conceal the engine fan blades to reduce its IF signature. AMCA is being designed to have first look first kill capability. To achieve this, AMCA will feature long range radars and sensors with extended range. The three most important sensors of AMCA is going to be gallium nitride based Uttam AASA radar, IRST sensor and integrated electronic warfare suite. 
the IRST is a passive sensor and will be capable of detecting targets in the range excess of 100 kilometers. DRDO is also working on indigenous laser designation pod or LDP which is used for detection, recognition, identification and designation of surface targets. The distributed passive sensors with artificial intelligence assisted multi-sensor data fusion will increase the situational awareness of the pilot. The system will work in tandem with advanced electronic warfare suite. The distributed processing system of AMCA will feature fast processors and smart subsystems. The early warning system and network-centric warfare capability of AMCA is further going to increase the coordination among the pilots. The advanced situational awareness in AMCA is achieved through multi-spectral sensors placed across the airframe of fighter which will allow fighter to have 360 degree of visibility without maneuvering the fighter. This is an important characteristic of AMCA which will enable the first look, first kill capability. AMCA pilot will be able to detect and destroy adversaries fighter aircraft without revealing its presence to the opponents. Another interesting feature of AMCA is going to be voice activated cockpit. AMCA will have 3D audio warning system in cockpit and voice activated commands which will reduce the workload of pilots. The AMCA will have a glass cockpit equipped with a panoramic touchscreen display for enhanced man-machine interaction, a multifunctional display placed in portrait orientation and a wide-angle holographic heads-up display. The AMCA will have hands on throttle and stick HOTAS arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle setting to ease the pilot workload. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We will soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.